Hey, it's Lana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're going to talk about something that I said in a previous video. I can't even remember which one it was. But I said that I would talk about the divine feminine and softness and gentleness. So I really want to film this because it's something that I am like discovering within myself as I go through my own life and my own journey. I feel like it's going to be more addressed to women, but I also think men could actually benefit from watching this video as well. And that is the fact that when you submit to your partner, it is not weak. And when you are soft and feminine and gentle, it is not weak. And this is something that I used to think it was because I've always been quite like girly, as you can kind of see with the makeup and the nails and everything. And I used to perceive that as like a, not a weakness, but just like people will try and walk all over you. You know, like they'll mistake kindness for weakness. They'll mistake you being soft and gentle as you being a doormat and allowing anyone to just take advantage. And that is not the case. So we're going to put this message out there because that is not the case. And I also want to put this out there to women as well, because there is a huge, huge agenda right now to make women more masculine to make us kind of take on the masculine role as if we don't need men. And it's being pushed just kind of everywhere. I guess you can see it even in music as well. And I wanna just speak to people that really need to hear this essentially, because we don't need to take on that masculine role. Like that is why men and women were created because we have our own gender roles. We have our own um, things that we play, like roles that we play in the household and everything. But when it comes to being submissive to your man, I feel like that is the most strongest, I want to say bravest, but it shouldn't even need to be brave because if you've chosen the right partner, then it shouldn't require bravery. But I guess in today's culture, it requires a bit of bravery. But like, that is the strongest thing that you can do. Because when you think about it, in order to submit to somebody, no matter what gender or anything like that, but when you submit to somebody, think about how secure in yourself you have to be to allow somebody else to lead you know, like to, to allow somebody else to choose what we do, to like make a decision, and then we both go in that direction. Or for them to be like, oh, I want to try this. And then you kind of support them on it. And obviously this goes both ways. Like, no matter what partnership you're in, you all need to support each other and everything. But like, in order to submit to that level, that's, that needs such strength because you need to be able to be so secure in yourself and so trusting of not only the other person, but of yourself enough to where you've chosen this partner. Like you need to have such a belief in yourself to know that you have chosen the right person for you and to know that when you chose them, that was the best decision for you, if that makes sense. Like literally even making that choice of joining into a partnership with them is such a self-trusting decision you know and obviously we can choose the wrong people and all of that kind of stuff like I am well aware of that and have done that a million times but I just feel like when it's the right person and I haven't even found that yet but I, I just feel like when it's the right person that is just such a powerful empowering thing that you're able to submit in such a way where they can lead, but you're in your power and you have so much confidence within yourself that you're willing to do this and for them to do the same to you as well and everything. And I just think harnessing and embodying the divine feminine attributes, which is to be nurturing and to be intuitive and to be compassionate and all of these beautiful things that everyone has, no matter what gender you are, we all can tap into that aspect because we all have both masculine and feminine energy within us. So like, I just feel like for women, especially when it comes to a relationship and that kind of dynamic is that you bring that to the table like that is kind of your role although we can both do it but you bring in that nurturing aspect into the table 
into the table, onto the table, is just such a powerful thing and not something that we should dismiss or belittle or act like is not needed or act like it's weak because it's not weak. It's very, very powerful. And when you think about it, like women can use that to their advantage and can actually like almost, I don't, I don't know how to word it without it sounding a bit crazy. <laughs> like, I don't want to say take control, but can you can kind of lead with that energy, you know, if that makes sense. Like, we don't have to lead with full force and like, um, take on all of these masculine principles and lead without the feminine. Like, you need both, you know? Like, I feel like a lot of women are trying to just become masculine and just embody the logic and the reason and all of those kind of forceful masculine principles. And then they're kind of letting go of all of the feminine, you know? And that has nothing to do with gender. That's just kind of the um, systematic norm that has been created now where we're becoming very independent and very um like I guess independent is the word where we're having to just get in our bag and like go out and go get it kind of thing which is an incredible thing but when you let go of the compassion and the like the intuition which you really need when you're going out and you know when you're going out into the world especially entrepreneurship you need to have a good connection with your intuition and with your emotions and everything so I think it's just important to have the balance between the masculine and the feminine for every person and just understanding that those feminine principles are so so powerful and so necessary and they don't make you weak and submitting to your partner does not make you weak it makes you very very strong and it allows the team to function together and to flourish beautifully but I also want to point out that it's very important like we all know very important to choose the right person because the reason why it's not working is because you've chosen the wrong goddamn person because they're going to obviously take advantage of those feminine principles and that's why you feel like you don't need a man and why you have to get aggressive and like scream at them and stuff like that because they're almost suppressing the feminine in you like they're belittling it and then you start suppressing it as well and taking on more masculine out of a survival mechanism you know and I think we just need to kind of get back into our feminine bag, into our feminine principle of intuition and compassion and everything like that and stop settling for bullshit. Stop choosing the wrong people and even if you've chosen the wrong person, start actually realising your worth and asserting your worth so that they either step up to the plate or they leave your life and when you choose the right person, it's not going to be this toxic awful situation that so many of us have experienced so I think instead of us just settling we need to pick the right people and then we actually won't feel like we need to suppress the feminine and abuse the feminine within you know because they're just oh it's so needed and obviously like the more of us that have compassion the less hate and aggression and suffering and all of this kind of shit happens when we tap into those aspects within so I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me and I will see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload twice a week. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy. Calling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy. Calling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white